So from shade, let's go to the trouble with girls. Okay, and this is a comic book haul we did um, a couple of months ago, I guess, two or three months ago, and there's more issues to this. Okay, uh, I read these, and this is these these two were from the first series of Trouble with Girls, and Girls is actually this guy's last name, right? And so the trouble with him and his family, right? That's what it really is. Um, and so these two were from the first two series. This was a standalone, sort of gives a little background, linked up some some of the past and the present together. And then this was uh, sort of a standalone four issue series. OK, and it came out on Epic Comics and this was Eternity Comics. And these ones were for Malibu, Malibu, Eternity were sort of the handoff, I believe, was from Malibu to Eternity. OK, and then Epic Comics, I believe that was the order that things went right. And those three issues were not bad. They were good. But this is these four issue, this four issue miniseries really got me uh, appreciating this character a lot and the story arc and the writing a lot. OK, so what we're going to do, we're going to read like around three pages from issue number one and around three pages from issue number two. Uh, I think that's a good and it, it believe it or not, it doesn't even it's not even reading anything based on the main character. OK. It, it it's not even based it, it's not he's not even in the pages that we're going to read because the story even though it is about him okay revolving around girls it's all the other characters as well which really add that that extra that comic books need to become fantastic okay now this came out what year did this come out this came out in 1993 again okay and all you need to know about girls is he's it's a james bond type of character fantastic uh like a conan the barbarian and james bond put together and uh he's unbeatable and and with all the amazing stuff that happens to him he actually doesn't want this this character wants to live in a little shack with a partner and read his book. That's all he wants. He doesn't want all this glamour, all this fantasy, all these women, all this money. He doesn't want it. OK, and I'll leave it at that. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to read these pages. We're going to read this, this, and just three pages from here. Should we start off with four pages? Yeah, let's let's start off from the break. Let's start it off from here. This is girls, and that's his dad, by the way. Okay. And him and him are very much alike, and neither of them wanted the life that was handed to them, right? So, for example, in here, he goes, that's all I want, dad, but look what I what I'm stuck with right so he's got all these expensive cars living in a mansion but in the previous issue he says all he wants to do is sit in a hammock and read his book okay read his book so let's read just four pages from issue number one This would not go over well in today's woke society. Coincidentally, in Caracas. Right? So we break away from the main story revolving around girls. Well, there it is. But I still don't see what the big deal is about a co uh, convent. Don't forget who's running that convent. Agent Flanders. 
as long as she was in retreat on her island mom wasn't worried about her but now that she's building this this uh, growing cult you've made your point Silas it's Silas in the bedroom baby is agent Marner in the field and mom is sort of like a shield type of agent uh, okay um, sort of organization for Marvel Comics let's go check it out he says they scoot into the convent agent sent by mom to check out a super villain wait a minute these are nuns why not the most decadent twisted and perverse super villainous in the world can corrupt anything For one can't wait to go head to head with her he says <laughs> before you get all hot and bothered don't don't forget that we're here to track that kid kidnapped botanist she says yeah yeah so let's see what we can learn from a little eavesdropping damn these nails are so long it takes all morning just to paint them and Christ they make it so hard to use your hands they always get tangled in these peekaboo peekaboo undies we have to wear the nun says hush you know it's for our, our spiritual well-being the other nine replies You know that uh, religious ascetics have always mortified, mortified their bodies to liberate their souls. And Mother Superior says we have to be morally strong for the new world order that she's creating. Okay, okay, the nun says. I understand how we're, we'll be brought closer to god by suffering six inch stilettos uh stiletto heels and endless applications of makeup and these incredibly tight body suits that work their way up your you know what but this business of sleeping with every man who looks at us there i draw the line she says But sister, I thought you used to be the Hellcat of, of Twin Oaks. I was, but you know Mother Superior says we can only do the things that make the man feel good. This, this is grotesque. She's turning these poor women into the ultimate boy toys yeah so where does the grotesque part come in he says of course the botanist she's forcing them to develop some kind of mind control drug no woman would do this to herself voluntarily no he says didn't i ever tell you about that little uh, car hop in Texas. We 
go back to the nun. Let me tell you, the next time a man makes me use mashed potatoes, I'm out of hold. Voice comes in. That's the mother superior coming in with her whip. How dare you doubt the celestial wisdom of your mother superior? You must do penance, she says. No, mother superior, not, not that. For a full month, you must pretend to hold no opinions of your, your own when in the company of men. No, she says. The secret agent can't take it anymore. You fiend, now you've gone too far. No, Molly, keep your head. You crazy fool, kid. takes on the mother superior dolt you think I carried this whip merely as an instrument of sexual titillation whips the gun out of her hand do you think I need a gun to defeat your kind I'll show you what we women who respect our bodies and ourselves can do I she jumps in do what die ignorably at my hands crash but first you will tell me who sent you ha you think i tell you i'm no bum i keep mum fine what better way to keep mum than to die crash kills her so that's just three pages from issue number one this conversation is hilarious fantastic read okay if you're into humor humor good art uh, intelligent conversation slapstick to a certain degree and uh, sort of critiques society in a big way okay and then we'll go to issue number two and we're gonna continue on with the mother superior and what we see in this issue let me find the pages <laughs> there's like mud wrestling girls <laughs> and what we see is sort of an infiltration of a reporter into the mom and uh, not mom the mother superior sort of hydra type of uh, organization right and we're going to pick up just a, another segment here okay actually is this one where he's infiltrated i'm not sure we'll read it we'll read it we gather here tonight, sisters, to welcome a novice to our swelling ranks, to usher, usher, usher her into our mighty army. And she's planning on conquering the world, by the way, just so you know. Got the nuns on their knees. <laughs> this would make a great movie. <laughs> we who are destined to rule the world and who grow strong through rigorous self humiliation now welcome Sister Pandora. 
Sister Pandora. There comes Sister Pandora. Come to your mother, superior dear, that she may send you off on your first mission. Which movie studio has the cojones to make this movie? <laughs> hey, be silent, smack, child. For humiliation is the true path to righteousness. And sexual humiliation, humiliation will be the weapon you wield. Oh, and why should I want to distribute all this tobacco your boss is selling? Because I'll be, I'll be your utterly, uh, utterly pliable, shameless sex slave if you do. That's why, she says. I'll help you live out your most disgusting, depraved fantasies and enjoy every minute of it or suffer through it if such is your preference, she says. <laughs> Cheryl, like Bakur Banzai meets strippers, Cheryl says. I'll be your toy your ornament, your garbage pail. I'll never speak out of turn. And if I speak at all, it will only be to echo your opinions or to moan in pleasure or pain as per your instructions, she says. Oh yeah? Well, I say you can never trust abroad. How deep, she says. You're all brainless, emotional bitches. Why, I never thought of that, she replies. They all think between their gams. My, you're really quite the philosopher, she says. <laughs> Hot damn, you are every man's dream girl. Now, you want to know what I want to do with you, little girl? Buzz, 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 whisper, 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 whisper. What? That's the most revolting thing I've ever heard, she replies. So, shall we do it on the floor or on your desk? <laughs> she asks. <laughs> and then this just continues, gang. This just continues. It's just... <laughs> this part is hilarious as well. <laughs> Should we read this too? Let's read these three pages as well. <laughs> we gotta read this. This, gang, these next three pages, okay? This is 1993? 1993. 1993, right? Fast forward to 2023, okay? We're 30 years from when this was written 30 years from when this was written okay <laughs> gang we're gonna read this ready two nuns from the mother superiors organization geez that sister pandora is doing such a great job that mother superior is giving her all the juiciest assignments one of the nuns says, yeah, I hear she gets humiliated twice a day. So we better make sure we don't flop this flop, this job. Don't, don't I know it, but where are we going to find a non-smoker 
in Caracas. We could snatch a child, one of them asks or says. No, 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 Mother Superior says it has to be an adult, one of those bellicosa, politically correct, liberal, fascist, anti smokers. <laughs> But where, but where in, in sensual, life-loving, vice-ridden South America are we going to, wait a minute, look over there, she says. <laughs> Earth's first t-shirt. I can't believe how the men treat their women here, the guy thinks. Uh, and the women always concerned about looking pretty. It's so depressing, he, he says. Look at this litter, no environmental consciousness at all, and no speed bumps in the streets. <laughs> He's wearing socks with sandals. Man, perfect. But what do they what do they care they don't care about their children here they let them play with toy guns don't these people know about pro-social instructional toys <laughs> he's coughing louder and louder what incest, ins, <laughs> insensitive reactionaries. They don't even respect my polite hints to put out their despicable uh, carcinogens. Oh, why did I ever leave Berkeley? <laughs> the nuns are like, bingo. <laughs> they kidnap the guy. They kidnap him. They tie him up in a chair. They brought him to Mother Superior. No, no, kill me first. Kill me first. Just don't make me smoke, he says. There we go. Now observe what happens to the subject when we inject him with the serum LSMFP100. Hot nuns. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Will it will it be a swift painless death he says? Beautiful artwork, beautiful artwork. Give me, give me, give me, give me that. He says, yelling. He wants the smoke. Let's see if we can get this thing focused. There we go. Ha 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 snap he's free going for the cigarettes at last snatches the smoke ah nicotine sweet nicotine I've come a long way baby puff 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 you see my sisters you see Nothing can stop us now, not the CIA, not the KGB, not even mom, nothing. Just so long as that accursed Lester girls 
doesn't somehow get involved. Right. <laughs> this is Lester Girls. <laughs> no, you're not losing your mind. But maybe the lizard lady, and this is the lizard lady, by the way. This is the lizard lady. The lizard lady, how does she hope to conquer the world with fast-growing tobacco leaves? Right. This is a great, great four-issue comic book series. It was a fantastic read. Oh, yeah. Who were the creators? of? Well, not the creators. The writer... Um, here we go I mean look at the inks on this right uh, where's the writer trouble the minister editor-in-chief editor letter colorist inker penciler there we go will Jacobs will Jacobs Chubador Chubador Chubadora brute uh, blue bluence with Russ Williams as the penciler Al Williamson is the inker Steve Matheson the colorist for this okay and the letter is John Constanza we got to get the name of the creators in this right we got to get the name of the creators in this so fantastic read highly recommend if you're into this type of humor um, heavy hitters epic comics okay uh, from 1993 uh, the trouble with girls four issue miniseries and we looked at this the covers in uh, the comic book haul that we did for this right Surgeon General's warning. Warning. Reading this material may cause severe laughter in politically correct minded individuals in spite of themselves. Right? In spite of themselves. Uh, I think every woke person should be forced <laughs> to read this in 2023 to read this four issue miniseries. <laughs> 